No. Oh, hit, hit my the All right, guys, today we're out here at Anderson, hole nine. This is claimed to be by the locals one of the toughest, if not the toughest shot, just because of the angle. So there's two ways to attack this hole. If you want to play for a par, which most people do, they just throw a nice high stall hyzer to land in the middle of the fairway. But for me today, I'm trying to birdie it. So I'm throwing a sidearm with something understable, Valkyries, beat up T-birds, beat up rocks. So the shot here is basically just, there's this first tree available. You want to go over top of that, and then this big fat tree just behind it is a mandatory so we got those two variables and you really want to go over this tree and really get a nice understable disc to not turn too much because it's easy to do that but to get up high and turn and kind of just have that nice slow float to the left because the basket's actually over that way and as soon as you flex out and hide out a little bit you're going to go deep into the crap so i'm really trying to just just get as cut as close as i can to this mando tree and drift far left the thing that makes this hole so challenging is the the tree cover the wind is a little bit fighting against us right now, so the, the disc you're gonna wanna push to the right when I'm trying to go left. So I really have to take that into consideration when I'm throwing my shots. With that, that adds a little bit extra uh, difficulty to this hole. So you'll see when we get up here, if you go deep, there's really a bunch of crap. So you really have to cut it close to this tree right here and just turn it as far as you can left and just give that nice float. It's really easy to wanna throw and spike into the ground with that nice uh, turnover forehand. So trying to get it's not even about the distance on this one the, the angle is just so challenging you want to it's so hard to get it short of the basket but yet still get around this tree now we're coming up on the landing zone so this is kind of going to be where i'm trying to land so we got all this this uh, scraggled jungle over here on the right of the basket so if you go long right and flex out that's more than likely where you're going to be so i'm trying to land left here and just give myself a wide open putt but even if I land in there, it's a pretty good shot and I can I can scramble a putt and try and make a birdie. So let's see what I can do. Now I'm gonna start my set of 10 on this hole and we got a little bit of a left to right wind so that's gonna make it a little more challenging. But I'm gonna start off with rocks and then work my way to the drivers. That's it. All right, so I threw, I was pretty happy with that set from the tee pad. I don't know how the result was up by the green. I know it can get tough, stuck in some tough spots, but I'm really excited to have a putt on hopefully some. Hopefully I can make maybe two or three of these, but it's so hard not to go deep, pushed into the crap on the right, just because of how close this angle is and how weird the shot is off the tee. And not to mention the left to right wind, it's just so hard to fight against when you're throwing your disc that high. You gonna try and make this one? Yeah, I'm gonna try and just do an elevator and drop it right in. All right. <laughs> Good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got kind of a blocked out putt, but for as hard as that tee shot is, I'm pretty happy with this. 
Uh, I've got a little bit of a closed off window here, a little bit of a headwind, about 40 feet, a little vine in the way, hoping I can make it. Yeah, we got one birdie, let's go. <laughs> so my first birdie of the day was a Casey Pro beat up rock. That was the perfect shot for this hole. Now I'm gonna take probably three steps to the right from where that rock was, deeper into the jungle, but there's always a look in your socky ball. You like it in there, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the whole push you into here is brutal. All right, this one has uh, got literally zero shot. And if I'm saying there's zero shot, you really know there's no shot. Because I'm always finding a hole. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a little tomahawk through this gap. And it's not really a gap, so if I hit something, don't laugh. Oh, that was a really good <laughs> well, <laughs> it out in a putt. So this one's a T-Bird, a little bit too much disc and it hides it out a little bit, but I came in the backside and I have a wide open spin putt. Let's see if I can give it a good run. Oh, hit the wind. What you doing in there? Uh, I'm hanging out with my T-Bird here. <laughs> <laughs> Threw a, a shot that's too deep. I'm gonna throw an overhand scuba trying to try to get it in. All right, guys, this one is, uh, I'm completely drawn dead for birdie here, and it's, uh, I never say that, so when you know, you know when I say that, it's, it's bad. So we're going to go ahead and just pick that up so I don't run into these prickers and get all stickered up. Now for the last birdie attempt of the day, I'm going to try and finagle a putt out of this scraggle mess right here. <laughs> wow, this is a cannon. Hey, you could come come on this side and straddle out. Yeah. You definitely got that. I don't have that long a leg. Spin cut it in. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do this. How do you it, baby? Oh, you that impending putt. This is the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> yes! That's how you get around a wall of trees. <laughs> yes! Thanks for joining us, Hole 9, Anderson River Park. The locals refer to this hole as the U-turn hole. Looks like the rock shot was the shot of the day on this hole. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. Thanks a lot guys for helping us film out. Big shout out to uh, the local community here for helping us out while we stay safe during this uh, pandemic and still get out here and have fun and put out some content for everybody. Friends of me fanatic, 685-848-7848-28982 on the forums, on the vlogs, YouTubes, Twitch, all the latest Zoom edge is here. We are here live at the Anderson River Park, world famous with none other than Ricky Wysocki, two time Innova Disc Golf world champion, we're six, discs apart. We're safe and this is what we're talking about. The disc of the day. The rock. Now Rick, be honest. Out of all these rocks, which was the best one? Was it the 11-time KC champion, two-time swirly permian of a disc golf? Or was it maybe the Les Smith, Day Smith, John Smith, Cali Cop Connection, triple stamp champion rock three? That's the one. Champion oh my rock gosh. three. <laughs> That's the disc of the day. Just enough chunk to make it happen? Oh, uh, chunked it right up on the green. There was a little bit of wind today. Uh, feels nice. Yeah, I think the champion rock three was the, was the disc of the day. Handled the wind well. Thanks, Frisbee Fanatic, for joining us. Yeah, you're blessing us. Hey, stay safe out there. Frisbee Fanatic, 685-848-9828 here. Ricky Wysocki, two-time world champion. Shout out your PDGA number. 38008, three boot. <laughs> <laughs> Warm up, coming in, Trot. Coming in. <laughs> Got it. Oh, no. Yeah, it's stuck way up there. Rick's always good for bloopers. You got any looks here? Yeah, I got one. I got a little tree right here, but I'm going to do a little anti pot here. <laughs> Two meter. Two meter. <laughs>